Tissue culture is a method of micropropagating plants in an aseptic or sterile manner. In this video, we are going to take a look at the principles and practices thereof as we show you how protea seeds are germinated in tissue culture. If you like what you see and hear in this video, then you can find all of the information in our ebook linked in the description. Let's get started with some background information on tissue culture and its uses. Micropropagation involves the production of plants from very small plant parts, tissues, or cells grown aseptically in a test tube. Here, the environment and nutrition can be carefully controlled. Tissue culture is an inclusive term for the range of procedures used to establish, maintain and grow plant organs, such as embryos, shoots, roots and flowers, as well as plant tissues like cells, callus and protoplasts in an aseptic or in vitro culture. To perform tissue culture, a specialised laboratory is often required. This lab requires certain equipment, including a laminar flow cabinet and an autoclave. A laminar flow cabinet exits sterile air outwards and helps to prevent contamination while explants have been placed into test tubes and grain medium. An autoclave is used to sterilize the grain medium, test tubes, and any other heat tolerant tools that need to be used. The nutrient media used in tissue culture will be specific to the requirements of that plant. Generally, the media will contain inorganic salts and organic compounds such as vitamins, hormones, and growth regulators. Commercial companies produce stock solutions so individuals do not have to prepare the medium themselves. Additional constituents of nutrient media include agar and distilled water. Once the medium has been prepared, it must be autoclaved and left to cool before the explants can be planted. There are five stages that need to be followed in sequence in the tissue culture process. These are Stage 0, donor plant selection Stage 1, establishment and stabilization Stage 2, shoot multiplication Stage 3, root formation and Stage 4, acclimatization. In this video, we are only going to detail Stage 1 of this process, but here are some brief details about the other steps. In this stage, an ideal plant donor must be selected. The correct genotype must be selected to ensure the plantlets will be true to type. Pathogens also need to be controlled. This can be achieved by growing the donor plants in greenhouses in an inorganic growing medium and by washing the explants thoroughly with a bleach solution. Selected plants should be healthy and show no visual symptoms of pathogen or insect infestation. In this stage, an explant is successfully placed into an aseptic culture while avoiding contamination to provide an in vitro environment. In stage 2, the culture is maintained in a stabilized state to multiply microshoots to the number that is required for rooting to begin. The expanded plants from stage 1 are cut apart and recultured into a new medium. This medium will generally have a much higher cytokinin concentration and a lower auxin concentration for auxiliary and adventitious shoot growth. Stage 3 can be done in vitro or ex vitro. For in vitro rooting, the microcuttings from stage 2 are moved to a root inducing medium. This medium will contain less or no cytokinin and more auxin. For ex vitro rooting, the microcuttings are treated with auxin and planted into a soilless greenhouse rooting medium. In stage 4, the microplants that have rooted are transferred from a heterotrophic or sugar containing medium to an autotrophic or free living condition. This helps the plant acclimatize and adapt to the outdoor environment. Now that we have covered a bit of background, let's dive into the first step of tissue culture and prepare the nutrient medium. We use the recipe and directions specifically tailored to meet the needs of protea seeds. This calls for a half-strength Murashiga and Skuok medium. There are many pre-mixed powders just like this one that can be ordered to suit the needs of specific plants and growth responses. To make up one litre of medium, we filled the glass beaker with 600 ml of distilled water and added the necessary amounts of MS powder, sucrose and gel right. Then more distilled water was added to meet the one litre mark. The beaker was placed on a heated magnetic stirrer and was there for about 60 minutes to heat up and dissolve all of the solutes. Once the mix turned a crystal clear, the medium was transferred to a Scott Duran bottle and the pump was used to transfer 10 ml of the medium into the test tubes. The test tubes were sealed with lids and these were placed in an autoclave along with the glass bottles containing distilled water, bleach and ethanol solutions which will be used to sterilize the seeds later. After the test tubes and other tools had been sterilized, the equipment was placed in the laminar flow cabinet. This cabinet must be turned on at least 24 hours before work begins under the hood. These cabinets blow sterile air across the work surface and therefore limit contamination. In the case of protea seed, the seed coats are often hard and contain compounds that inhibit germination. Therefore, tissue culture can be used to improve germination by dissecting the embryos from the seed. The seed will then undergo their first round of sterilization and spend 10 minutes in the bleach. After this, they are transferred to the ethanol solution for 10 minutes. Lastly, the seed will be washed in distilled, sterile water. After they have been dissected, the embryos are placed into the test tubes. They are then sealed and the tubes can now be placed into the growth chambers. 
These chambers are separate rooms that are heated and illuminated to meet the specific needs of the plants. In this case, the room temperature was 25 degrees Celsius and the lights were on for 12 hours a day. And that brings us to the end of this video detailing the first stage in the process of tissue culturing protea seeds. In a follow-up video, we will show you how the seeds germinate, after which they can be dissected into micro cuttings and multiplied further. Before you go, remember your copy of our ebook and we will see you in the next video.